Nancy. And I'm Bobby. And we came to farm, and I'm the third generation on the farm. My father owned it before I did, and of course his father owned it before him. We're a dairy farm, and we raise basically mostly just alfalfa, corn, and oats. And uh, once in a while, we do stick in a few sunflowers just to stick make in, people happy. Make people <laughs> when happy they're driving their work. And make them smile. They're in no hurry. We met at the Cattaraugus County Fair showing cows. He was a year older than I, and not as good a showman as I was. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> we competed, but we ended up here. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, okay. who's got the trophy? <laughs> <laughs> For showing beef. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Well, every day around 5 o'clock we have to milk these guys and they've been in the day pasture all day long pretty much drinking and eating and so now it's their turn to work so we open the gate and they come up the lane into the barn where we hook them up we have conventional stalls and actually they're new stalls comfort stalls they're called but they come single file up the lane because we narrowed the lane because it was getting so muddy so it's all cement all the way up they don't have to get their feet too muddy but, and then they come in, take their spot, and mm -hmm. do their thing. Well, we then, milk them. <laughs> yeah, we do our thing, and then they're free to go. Well, in general, it, it, it's no secret that dairy farming it, it keeps getting larger and larger. Farms keep getting bigger and bigger. And the small dairy farm is basically hanging on. And as you see, these farms in this valley at one time were all small family dairy farms. And most people either there was death in the family or the farmers got old or and retired and or what have you. But the general trend is for the farms to just keep getting bigger. Our kids grew up on a farm, I grew up on a farm, and you have the memories, the, the little things that the bigger farms, they just don't have time for. Uh, and one of those things is the family working together and trying to produce a product. And in the end, you know, it, it's the family. Uh, that you, you hear them talk about the family unit all the time, the family, you know, and this is what we're losing. It's nothing we can do. We were told back in 1975, 76, that this size farm could never survive. But we sort of proved them wrong. I don't really know how. Thinking back, I, I can't even begin to think of how we did it. But it's just by you know, watching every penny and working hard, not getting a lot of sleep. <laughs> uh, we proved them wrong because they told us that this size farm over 20 years ago was out of date. We really don't know. We really don't know where this farm will go, but time will, you know. Time we do will. know that we want to keep it dairy. Yes. Um, it's important to us. It's as important as anything is to, to retire knowing that the cows will still be in this valley, would you say? Yeah, because they're the only ones left in the valley. Yeah, all the farms around us have sold out are gone. over a 20 year period. Are gone. If the cows get out, they know who they ours. belong to. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be ours. There ain't nobody else's.